brought to you by wikivd.com. Last Week Tonight with John Oliver Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, often abridged as Last Week Tonight, is an American late-night talk and news satire television program hosted by comedian John Oliver. The half-hour-long show premiered on Sunday, April 27, 2014, on HBO. Last Week Tonight shares some similarities with Comedy Central's The Daily Show, where Oliver was previously featured as a correspondent and fill-in host. As it takes a satirical look at news, politics and current events, but on a weekly basis, Oliver has stated that he has full creative freedom, including free reign, to criticize corporations. His initial contract with HBO was for two years with an option for extension. In February the 2015, it was announced that the show had been renewed for two additional seasons of 35 episodes each. The show was renewed for a fourth season which premiered on February 12, 2017. Production Oliver described his preparations for the show to an interviewer for The Wire. I basically have to watch everything. The only thing I kind of watch for pleasure is Fareed Zakaria's show on Sundays. That in 60 minutes I watch for pleasure. Or maybe Frontline. I have a TV on in my office all the time. And I'll generally flick around on that from CNN, Fox, MSNBC, Bloomberg, CNBC, Al Jazeera. I'm watching with a certain thing in mind and that is how to see a story told badly. He said to another interviewer that he is concerned about dealing with old news. If something happens on a Monday, realistically all the meat is going to be picked off that bone. By the time it gets to us, there's probably barely a point in doing it. I think we'll be attracted to some extent by stories that are off the grid. Our show may end up skewing more international in terms of stories. Tim Carvel, executive producer of Last Week Tonight, explained to an interviewer how the cast and crew deal with a half hour of Oliver speaking without any commercial breaks. Carvel also revealed that HBO gave them freedom in choosing guests for the show, advising them not to feel obligated to feature celebrities. When asked by an interviewer about correspondents, such as those featured on The Daily Show, Oliver replied, we're not going to be a parody news show, so no people pretending to be journalists. Format The format consists of Oliver sitting at a desk in front of a backdrop of a skyline containing buildings from around the world, including the Dome of the Rock, the Washington Monument, Burj Khalifa, the Empire State Building, and Egyptian pyramids as he reports news of the WIC, or a political issue. The backdrop also includes the Castle Dragonstone from Game of Thrones. The show's theme starts off every episode containing images relating to it or the world at large, with satirical captions written in dog Latin. Each episode covers a small handful of shorter segments, and then one main segment, while the short segments almost always relate to recent news. The episode's main segment usually covers in length and detail a political issue, even if that issue did not have news media attention during the preceding week. Oliver injects humor into his presentation, including satirical analogies and allusions to popular culture and celebrities. The show includes a panel in the upper left corner that frequently displays a photographic for that accompanies subject at hand, which aids in the humor. A full-screen graphic will show and play a video clip when Oliver is citing it. He often coins a hashtag for use in social media related to his segment, some of which go viral. Oliver's speech is broken up with video compilations of recent news clips or recurring segments, into which Oliver segs with the slogan, and now, this. 
Oliver has also ended some segments with mock trailers for fictional TV shows or commercials that satirize the subject of his speech. The typical structure of the show is to open with a recap of a few of the week's news stories, segue into a video compilation, and then move into Oliver's main segment. Some of the episodes will follow up the main segment with another video compilation and news story. YouTube channel Last week, Tonight has a YouTube channel where videos are usually added on a weekly basis. Most of the videos are of the main segment from each episode. Extended clips are also available on the show's YouTube channel, as are web exclusives that are produced solely for the channel, such as a July 2016 video in which he responded to negative comments left on the channel itself. The show's production has also created content specifically for fan use. For the March 19, 2017 episode, which reported on Bolivia's growing coalition of workers clad in zebra suits to educate civilians about traffic laws, the show's production recorded 23 minutes of a person in a zebra costume dancing and gesticulating before a green screen so that viewers could edit it into other videos. For humorous effect, a similar video called Real Animals, fake pause for use in reenacting U.S. Supreme Court cases was released after the October 19, 2014, episode, where dogs were used instead of justices to make listening to oral court cases more amusing to the general public and to increase interest in the subject. By April 2015, the channel had attained over a million subscribers. That number had risen to 3.6 million by July 2016, and over 5 million by May 2017, with more than 1 billion views. Social media Last week, Tonight has a Facebook page with over 2.5 million likes, a Twitter account with over 2.3 million followers, and an Instagram account with more than 237,000 followers as of June 2017. Oliver often makes use of joke hashtags to facilitate the viral spread of his videos on Twitter and Facebook, as with the hashtag OatMcChristian, which he used in 2014 to complain about the casting of actor Jamie Dornan in the feature film adaptation of Fifty Shades of Grey. The hashtag became a recurring punchline on the show, mentioned in both serious stories or causal sex. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.